Okay, number one question here. What do you what do you think it is? Shitcoin. Yep, Bitcoin. Elon, he's not a big fan anymore, I guess. And got the hodlers a little worried. But uh, this is the question. Is that why? Well, that was all the chatter this weekend, yeah. right? Here. It must be why, right? Yeah. It wasn't that it went straight up and it would correct or anything. Like or that. It didn't have anything to do. With, you know, I think the big thing was. They're not, you know, they, they were going to take Bitcoin to buy Tesla cars. Now they said no. Uh, and then he said he might sell the company's Bitcoin because of the issues with it, you know, mining it and environmental yeah. concerns. I, I, I never, and, and I hope no one ever bought Bitcoin based on any of that nonsense. I mean, we've been long Bitcoin since uh, October the 12th, I think it was, uh, because of Quad 2. We don't have to deal with all that bullshit or him, right? He's got, he's got a lot of bullshit that comes out of his mouth, right? Well, why would it, why would I? I'm not going to waste a dollar of my life on that guy ever. Right? He might be big time in your mind, but I don't care. I don't care. A lot of people think they're big time. Uh, the fact of the matter is that we are going to risk manage this situation. What's interesting about Bitcoin here? What's the question, and then I'll give the answer. The question is: it, but... Bitcoin changed to neutral trend, yep. neutral trade. What is the trend? Any additional guidance on either Bitcoin or Ethereum beyond what is in the crypto quant product? Yeah, the um, well, the guidance is that it's, it's an important call out, and it was happening Friday. So the main reason why it went down so hard, you might want, need to rationalize it with Elon. I'm not going to say that it's not because you can actually see it uh, in the volume. Like if you look at the volume for so my model's price volume volatility. Now, how many people that are trading Bitcoin know that the volume on a day over day basis coin volume was up 158% and versus the one month average, it was up 73%. So volume spike on a trend breakdown. Why do I build it that way? Because that's called a similar set. Volume spikes when you break trend. Now, most people don't know what the trend is. See that? They don't know what the trend is. But I know what the behavior is on a trend break, hence building the trend. Got that? So that's why I wasn't buying any damn dips in Bitcoin. It's not a dip until it gets back above the trend. Same, same with the NASDAQ. You know, Elon didn't poo-poo the NASDAQ. I wouldn't care if he did either, right? So just separate, if you can, your life's going to get a lot better if you can just be mathematical in your orientation. Um, so, so let's just do this. Um, so we got uh, Bit Bitcoin is now bearish trend, okay? So, and it may just be for a day. We'll have to see. Um, so the money line is 49,006, okay? So that's trend. What was support is now resistance. Now, the reason why I'll, why I'll keep it neutral and not put it, it's bearish trend right now, it's below it, right? It's because I'm gonna wait and watch. Like, what if the guy sneezes tonight? I mean, and it goes above that, and everyone says that's why. That's not why Bitcoin was going up to begin with. So again, it's been going up because of quad two. Dollar down, long Bitcoin is a very obvious correlation. In fact, the correlation's higher on something like break-evens with Bitcoin than anything else. How many people that are long Bitcoin even know what break-evens are? I don't care. You don't need to care either. So again, it's an interesting situation where something like that, as soon as, on the way down, by the way, you're protected because you sold a bunch of them, or the stocks in particular, broke before that did. Don't forget, in the crypto tracker, Block, the Maestro, GBTC. GBTC, remember, Jonesy, was the first one to break. They're all bearish trend. Ethereum and ETH are not. So Ethereum and ETH are the places that I'd be buying the dip, not there. Why? I don't have to deal with the bullshit story about Elon. Like, whether or not it, what he's doing matters doesn't matter to me. Why don't I just go buy the thing that isn't bearish trend? This is very consistent with how I do everything. I do not delineate between be, buying cattle futures, lean hogs, and silver, right? I don't care. We shouldn't care. But if you fall in love with a Bitcoin, or if you fall in love with a shitcoin, or you fall in love with, I don't know, Doge, it's kind of the same mistake that I talk about with, with stocks. Don't fall in love with stocks. You know, don't fall in love with cattle futures, especially if you have to take delivery and you don't have a place to put the, cat, the cows. You know, you got a lot of problems with these things. So again, you get yourself in a position where you can make some good decisions. We'll see how it goes. This thing whips around a lot. Uh, implied volatility right now is, is, is at a premium, obviously, but what really matters in, the, in Bitcoin, guys, show the tracker product one more time, is that we're in the 80th percentile right now. We shot back up, realized vol's at 73%. So that's like, that's not for me. You don't, I don't buy stuff when volatility is breaking out towards 73, 80, 85%. Uh, and implied vol is not really moving because it's chasing realize. So realize vol, so again, to review, why did this happen? Why did this break? 99% of you are going to say Elon. Whatever. You could say Shelon. I would say, okay, it's She-Man. It's He-Man. I don't know. Whatever you want to say, okay? Um, so again, 
What really happened was that the price, the volume, and the volatility, the vol of vol changed. Okay? Right? Price down, volume up, volatility up. That is bad. Next time that happens, that's bad. That's like Jack McCullough being a bad boy when he's six years old. Bad. Until you stop being bad in your room. Bad. Don't let him out of the room until this stops. Until this stops, it doesn't matter what you know he said, because he, he he said he wasn't bad. He said it wasn't Elon. <laughs>